Hey guys, this is Keith, Reaching On Demand. It's what we're in the middle of right now. We're taking this wall out, changing the ceiling, changing the floor, changing the cabinets. That wall right there is going to be coming out. We'll keep y'all updated. Good morning. Hi hey guys. guys. So it's Saturday, April 4th, and our house is a wreck. We keep saying that, and we're going to show y'all. So Keith has already shown y'all a little bit, and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like today, because what Keith filmed yesterday was the second. Was it the second or the third? So it looks worse today. Third, yeah. So um, I'll let y'all know what's on the agenda for today, and we'll get our day started. Hey, honey. Hey. So this is what our front room looks like. If you're walking from the hallway, so those are the three windows that we're keeping. We have our um, permit placed up there, so that's why we have the shades down because we don't want it to fall down. Um, this paneling up here, the one on the lip is going to come down because there's a light up there that we're going to take down because we're going to put recess lighting in. This light fixture is coming out. This wall is coming out. Obviously, the cabinets, most of the cabinets have come out. This is why the floor looks like that. The ceiling is coming down. So, babe can rewire up there. And this is our kitchen. This is what started the entire project. This is when to redo the kitchen. So, we've taken out the cabinets and we're going to take out this hood. There's a window back there that's already been sealed up, but we're going to redo that so it's up to code. So, we're going to tile all the way up, new cabinetry, and there's going to be an island where this wall is, which is why it's coming out. <laughs> Flooring is coming up. We're going to redo the floors and our fridge and microwave are over there. So, we have to cover those up while the ceiling is coming down. So what we're doing right now is we have to take this little one to the vet for a little checkup. But of course with the social distancing, basically they're going to take Boogie in and we're sitting in the car. Basically they're going to take Boogie in, we're going to sit in the car and um, do everything over the phone with the social distancing. Of course we can't go in. Babe, are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go get coffee, and then we're taking Boog to the doctor, and then um, we'll come back and do more of our house. So yeah. Good morning. Hi guys. <sighs> it's Sunday. Hey guys. Sunday fun day family day. Um, we've been working on the house. Uh, Keith's been working all week. Dreadful. <laughs> and we worked on it all day yesterday. We're really tired. Um, we try to reserve Sundays for just filming for you guys and just enjoying each other's company and not working on the house. But we are going to probably work on the house a little bit. But I'm going to show y'all how it looks right now. It's what happens when you do it yourself. You got to work seven days a week to get it done. Okay, guys. So I'm standing in the hallway from where the bedrooms are walking into our living room kitchen area so we pulled up this carpet that was here um this house was built a long time ago and it looks like they did a lot of patchwork here with the plywood um so we're trying to we're gonna put cement board down before we put down any tile just because um, walking through here, there's a lot of gaps and stuff, so we definitely want to take care of that. Um, but it's really sturdy, and that cement board will give us the inch and a quarter we need to be able to put the tile floor down. And the tile floor is going to be all this flooring you see. But since we don't have a lot of storage space, we have our fridge, our dishwasher, our vent hood. The stove is still there, but it will be moved. Um, so we just pulled up the carpet from here back. We're going to pull up the linoleum from that, the edge of that door back. If you can see, let me turn on some more lights. Okay. So from this door, the edge all the way across, we're going to pull up all this linoleum. 
and put down cement board and then tile. Our thought process is because we don't have a lot of storage space to get the flooring and everything done on this side first and then move the fridge back over on this side where it'll be which will be on that wall once the rest of this wall comes down it'll be on that wall and just move the dishwasher back over here just so it'll be out of the way for us to do this area because in this area the only thing we're doing in this area is the flooring and some paint on the walls um and the lighting of course but that's just ceiling stuff so um that's what's going on right now um so yeah all the cabinets are out I've been calling this an apron, but apparently he said it's a fur down. <laughs> so we're taking all that down so we'll have access to the ceiling. That ceiling fan is going to come down. All of this ceiling is all going to come down. Um, so yeah, that's what we've been doing. So yeah. Okay, so if you were wondering about yesterday with Bug going to the doctor, he does have some skin irritation, so we got a couple of prescription meds for his skin, um, an antibiotic, an antihistamine, and then she said he has like really severe dryness, so she gave us um, like an oil to, it's a liquid vitamin, but it has fatty acids and oils and stuff in it, to put on his food when we give him his food. And yeah, so Boogaloo is fine. Anybody that was wondering for an update on his health situation. <laughs> and here's Boogie right now. Okay, so um, Keith and I kind of wanted to sit down and talk to y'all. And if I had something to put y'all on, I would. Because um, we really wanted to sit. We really wanted to sit and talk to y'all about what's been going on. Here, babe, can you hold yeah. your arm just longer? Okay, so about what's been going on with our renovation. I don't want anyone to think that we're being reckless or anything like that with social distancing and going out unnecessarily. What has been happening is I am considered an essential employee, so I have been going out pretty much Monday through Friday going to work and home. Everything that we're doing at our house right now is strictly at home we're pulling down walls we're pulling yep. down cabinets we're breaking them down in our yard putting them on our truck and dumping them at the dump um no contact with anyone else self-service all of that jazz um the supplies that we will get for the renovation i am actively every single day scouring the internet and ordering them online and having them delivered to the house it is more expensive that way but we feel like it'd be safer that way less contact less going to the stores and things like that um so we are going we go out pretty much when we need to go to the grocery store but other than that we're home working on the house which is how we're able to get a lot of it done and Keith is working yeah. a lot while I'm at work yeah um so yeah we just don't want to take the chance with Eric and he's had some health issues when he was younger so we just don't want to take the chance with anything like that so um yeah that's what's been going on we wanted to sit down and talk to y'all about that because we don't want anyone to think that we're just being reckless and out here just being well look at that pile of clothes because our whole life's in this room <laughs> No, you don't have to show it. <laughs> but yeah, so um yeah. Anyway, in the midst of that, in the midst of everything that's going on, um, stay safe, stay positive. Um, I know it's a tough time for everyone. It's a tough time for us. We're going through it financially as well. Um, with basically, you know, going from a two income household to a one. Yeah. So, um it's tough and we feel your pain. We don't want anyone to think that we're perpetuating that we don't. Um, but yeah, in the midst of everything that's going on, we decided to up our upload schedule to four times a week instead of once a week, and that's been a lot of work, um, but we just feel like we want to give content for you guys who watch us, and thank you everyone who subscribed since watching our Truly video. We are over 500 subscribers, which is insane to us. We're so grateful. The 50,000 goal that we have for ourselves of developing this amazing community of individuals who um, just believe that you have the choice to choose what your version of happiness looks like. So yeah. It's getting heavy. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, see y'all in a bit. Alright, bye guys. Hey guys. So... We haven't done much today. Keith is power washing sidewalk. I've been just laying around the house. So has Eric. It's 
real bright outside. But I am going to get some lettuce from our garden for my salad today. Um, it's going to be really, really loud out here. Maybe because if you can hear that in the background, which I'm sure you can, that is the pressure washer. So, how's everybody doing? This vlog is probably short, just like last week's. Our vlogs are probably going to be pretty short because by us not leaving the house on the weekends and pretty much working on our renovation, there isn't much to show you except renovation stuff. And during the week, we don't do anything except I go to work and come home. So, there may not be a lot to show you guys. But, I'm gonna pick some spinach and romaine leaves from our garden for my salad. and give them a wash and put some toppings on. We also have some really nice Swiss chard growing that I plan on um, that I plan on sauteing with some onion and garlic all that good stuff for a side dish. So Anyway, <sighs> oh, I guess I can show y'all my makeshift, as you can see behind me, not there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the back room where we used to film that I am pretty much using now is the kitchen. Okay. This is a kitchen. We have, well, my laptop's gonna leave. We have a crock pot, air fryer, toaster, coffee pot. Um, so that's pretty much all we're cooking on. So if it can be cooked in those items, we are cooking it. We also have a rice cooker here that will go here too. I'm gonna go wash these greens and get my toppings. I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's done. This is a salad. Lettuce from a garden, cucumbers, kamala olives, slivered onion, not slivered onion, slivered almonds, cranberries, some turkey breast, and there's a little bit of cheese in there. So yeah, this is it. And it's over romaine and spinach from our garden. I don't have any tomatoes and our tomatoes haven't bloomed yet. This dressing is a, an Italian garlic creamy garlic dressing is probably not the best thing but that's what we're having hi guys so today is monday normally this vlog would have went up this morning but it has not because well i'll let you guys know on instagram and if you're not over there on instagram you should be follow us on rishu underscore od i'm walking towards the front i just got off I'm walking towards the front to show you guys how the house looks as of today excuse me bubba um, how the house looks as of today and um, like I said our vlogs are going to be very repetitive and pretty short because we really aren't doing much except the house. So I'm going to show you guys the house and then we're going to end the vlog and Keith and I are about to shoot a mukbang because we're going to eat dinner and that will be up for you guys on Wednesday. So I have to get all that done today, edit, upload. So yeah, let me show y'all the house, then I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, I don't know if you can tell, the flooring and stuff has been up. Keith has taken down, I don't know if you remember, there was some 
beans up here they're called a fur down i've been calling it an apron i don't know those are down keith is pulling the wires out of this wall it will go down you guys he's also pulled those tiles so if you see that tile there and those beams those were here and those have been pulled down and the rest of the ceiling is going to come down as well so yeah anyway i'm gonna get ready to shoot a mukbang and talk to y'all later bye